Hi friends, so we have already learned the crystalline allotropes of carbon. If you have not watched it yet, click on the icon in the top corner and you will have the link for the same. Well, talking about amorphous allotropes of carbon now. In amorphous allotropes of carbon, the arrangement is not regular. We have already learned that allotropy is the property of an element due to which it can exist in two or more forms differing in the way in which atoms are bonded to each other but still have the same physical state. Let us discuss the non-crystalline or the amorphous forms of carbon. Now that we are talking about carbon, let us see some basic details regarding carbon. It is represented by the letter C. Its atomic number is 6 while the atomic mass number is 12. The electronic configuration is 2,4. This means it has 4 valence electrons in its outermost shell making its valency 4. It is a non-metal. So amorphous allotropes of carbon are having short range ordered structure. The arrangement of carbon atoms is irregular. The amorphous allotropes of carbon are coal, charcoal and coke. Let us go for the very first non-crystalline form of carbon which is coal. Coal is obtained by carbonization which is the process involving changing, being turned into carbon through various techniques like burning, heating etc of wood. This transformation is affected by high temperature and high pressure. As you already know, coal is a fossil fuel. It contains carbon, hydrogen and oxygen along with nitrogen, phosphorus and sulphur. See, this is coal. What do you think? In which state coal exists? Yes, its physical state is solid. There are four types of coal. Peat, lignite, bituminous and anthracite. First type we have is peat which is least pure form of coal containing a high proportion of water and less than 60% carbon. As you can see, we are determining the quality of coal depending upon the percentage of carbon present in it. Peat is the very first step in the formation of coal. As we saw, very less percentage of carbon is present in peat as compared to other types, hence not much heat can be obtained from its combustion. Second type we have is lignite. Peat transforms into lignite when there is an increase in pressure and temperature inside the earth's crust. This type of coal contains 60 to 70% of carbon and since it is formed from peat, it is the second step of the formation of coal. Third type of coal we have is bituminous coal. This is formed as the third step of the formation of coal and it contains 70 to 90% of carbon. At the final step of coal formation, anthracite is formed which is the purest form of coal. It is hard and contains 95% of carbon. So you can see going from peat to anthracite, the proportion of carbon and the efficiency of combustion also increases, leading to increased heat production. Now I have a quiz for you. Tell me what are the uses of coal? You can pause the video to ponder upon your answer. I am going to tell you that it is used as fuel in factories and homes. It is used as mechanical fuel in steel or power generating plants and it is also used as a domestic fuel. Coke, coal gas and coal tar are obtained from coal. Now let's discuss second amorphous allotrope of carbon that is charcoal. These come in different types. We will discuss wood charcoal and animal charcoal for the scope of our discussion. Talking about wood charcoal, when wood is burned in a constrained supply of air, charcoal is obtained and this process is known as destructive distillation of wood. Wood charcoal is considered pure carbon as it contains 80 to 85 percent of carbon. As you can see, charcoal is dark, permeable and a weak solid. It is a good adsorbent though. Hence, we use charcoal powder to absorb shading matter from solutions and harmful gases from the air. Charcoal is also used in the purification of water and organic material. Now, let's talk about animal charcoal. As you can already imagine, this charcoal is made from animal bones, horns, etc. This is also acquired by destructive distillation process of bones. 
it consists about 10 to 12 percent of carbon. Now it's time for discussing the last amorphous allotrope of carbon that is coke. When coal gas is taken away from coal, the pure coal that remains is called as coke. This is again done by the destructive distillation of coal. Petroleum coal is a final carbon-rich solid material obtained from oil refining. It is used as domestic fuel and as a reducing agent. Well, have you heard about water gas and producer gas? Coke is used in the production of these aeriform fuels as well. So that's it for the amorphous allotropes of carbon. Stay tuned for more such videos. You can also suggest the topics you would like us to discuss with you all. Happy learning!